everybody. Good morning. Welcome into the show that's on in the morning. We have got a great show planned here for you today. A big, gigantic announcement. Yeah. Oh, stupid beady eyes. There we go. All right. Oh, much okay. better. There, there it is. Oh, we're worried. Right. Now Wait. I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, we got you look professional. Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. That's a stretch. I, I just said, look, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that, I didn't say you were. Troy, you've got the move with the earbuds. I really, every time I look at us with headphones on, I feel like I'm training to fly a helicopter that I'm about to crash. It's just not uh, like with Jerry. Yeah, yeah. These yeah. are Jerry's old headphones, so yeah. I, I wonder if uh, it's bad crash. luck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, we got a lot to do today. It is Friday, so it is uh, officially a Stoidum Florida Man Friday. You. Yeah, man. And we've got a heck of a Florida Man story for it. And, of course, we've got more info on the Florida Man games. I just said that. Yes, All right. good. Very excited. <laughs> All right. Yes, very excited. All right. Uh, before we get too far into it, we have got to tell you about the Florida Man Games. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Haven't mentioned that enough to start the show. <laughs> the world famous, by the way, the Florida Man Games, presented by Flow Grown. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. You can challenge your friends. Uh, this is a big part of it. A lot of people are always asking, can I challenge my friends in stuff? Yes, of course you can. Oh, cool. You can challenge your friends in things like the Florida Sumo. Ah. Which is... <laughs> so awesome. Do you need to bulk up for this? Like, out? No. Okay. No. All you need is the inflatables that we will provide you with and a pitcher full of beer, which we will also provide you with. Oh. Yep. Uh, you can challenge your friends in the log slammer, which is like that wipeout style thing where you're standing on the pedestals and you got to yeah, jump, jump over the duck. arms that are, jump yeah, duck. Jumper, jumper duck, duck. exactly. Yeah. You can get up to four people on that thing. And of course, the mechanical alligator. We've got a gigantic obstacle course that uh, you can take part in as well. It's going it's to be fun. It's going to be fun. And of course, a lot of Floridian... Uh, merch that you can get out there. Of course, yeah. Flow Grown is going to be out there. We've got our friends from Native Artistry who make these really awesome wooden Florida flags. They're super legit. They're actually, uh, those Florida flags are one of our trophies. They're they're going to the winners of the Florida Man game, so mm -hmm. that's exciting. And Ripley's, believe it or not, is going to be out there, which is awesome. They, they were the first people to hit me up and be like, dude, this weird-ass event is so But they so are the masters of weird. Yeah, that's exactly. what they do. Yeah. Exactly. Believe it or not. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That took me a second. That you know. did. That did. <laughs> uh, also, a big shout out to our local friends at Atlantic Marine Power Sports STA and Prohibition Kitchen for helping us out with this thing mm -hmm. uh, as well. All very exciting, man. The Florida Man Games. Go to the Florida Man Games dot com. We did I mention we'll be announcing our host today? I guess I put that we in the did? title. Yes. 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 Oh. We will be announcing our host today, which is very exciting. This is huge. It's it's actually massive. Yeah. It's massive. Big time, well loved. So pumped. Yeah. Florida, really a Florida staple at this point. I, I, I if love you this live guy. in Florida and you don't follow this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got yeah. an issue. Right? Yeah, you got problems. I, we're I we're denouncing you as a Floridian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all do. We've been following this stuff for years. Yeah. Uh, also, by the way, our friends at Amp Hardcore Gym are going to give you a free membership if you have tickets to the Florida Man game. So if you do have tickets already and you want to get back in the gym, New Year's resolution, come on. Perfect opportunity. Just go to Amp, show them your ticket, and they'll uh, hook you up with a free month out there. Free month. It's an incredible gym, you guys. Take advantage of that. Definitely get that in. It's it is definitely awesome. worth it. It's yeah. a great place. Great place. It's where the firefighters are training, by the way, for right. the uh, 911 fight night. Brawl of the badges. Can't wait for that. Brawl. That's going to be in what? Ketterliness gym? It is, is going to be in the gym, yes. Okay. That's going to be indoors, so there's going to be seating for everybody in there. Everybody's going to be able to see it very well. That's exciting. You guys, that's going to be exciting. Yeah. It's going to be huge. Again, the FloridaManGames.com for all that info. All right. Are our pinup girls going to be our ring girls? That's a good question. They probably could be. Yeah. Oh. Probably could be. Because yeah. we got to have ring girls if we're going to have fight night. I was going to sign you up to be the ring girl. <laughs> I really wanted yeah. that job. <laughs> That's right. Davey was asking for that job. Davey was asking for that job. I'm, I'm going to have to work out. Uh. 
Call an amp. It's too. It's it's too late. Even amp can't get you in shape by February twenty fourth. Come on, <laughs> he'll be all sore. Can't even lift his arms. <laughs> I still have good genetics. Still got good genetics. Yeah, I still got good. Uh, genetics. That counts for something. Yeah, it, really, it does. It does for count. For, it does count it for, a for a lot. Yeah, it really does. It's easier to be muscular when you're short. It's the truth. Wow. It is. It is the absolute right. truth. It is it so is. hard when you're tall. It is so hard. Yeah. You, you look you look skinny no matter what right. if you're tall. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I know some tall guys who don't look skinny no matter what. <laughs> Roll them down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Also, big shout out to our friends at Bozard Ford Lincoln celebrating 75 years officially in our St. John's County area and our whole Northeast Florida area, period. Bozard Ford Lincoln is here for you. You can experience their extensive selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, quick and quality servicing, and their parts and accessory shop that's uh, just absolutely amazing. It'll blow your mind. Make sure you grab a signature burger at Ford's Garage. Speaking of blow your mind, uh, the 904 Now Burger is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, Bozard Ford Lincoln offers services from home delivery to company fleet servicing at Bozard Ford Lincoln. Your family is their family, and they are driven to inspire. Also, a big shout out to Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations Realty and Auction, Chiba Hut Toasted Sub, St. Augie's Pizza, BHF Insurance, Amara Med Spa, Griffin Service, Chris Lucero Bail Bonds, and Willow in Maine. Oh, who we'll talk about shortly. Uh, but first, joining me at the table, Troy Blevins, Davey Hartzell. Clay behind the glass. What's up, guys? Hey, um, I got mm. some bad news. Uh, what? Uh, it is Friday. Uh huh. But you've already said it was Friday three times. Yeah. Florida man, I did say Florida man. I think we're gonna. I, I, okay. Twenty. So you, you eight get to start days. over. Right. Twenty. It's a, it's a days. New were we still counting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were. Yeah, okay. we were. Every it's day. All Religiously. We it's all we got, Pete. Don't take it from <laughs> <That's> us. It. <laughs> okay. But I was about to take it from you. I was about to just say, you know what? I'm just so not good at this that we're going to stop it. I just want to taste thirty. What does thirty taste like? Jeez. We hadn't made it yet. <sighs> but no, we haven't. Happy Friday, all right. Cinderella story. Yeah. It's an story. exciting day, <laughs> so I understand why it happened, but it's uh, we're yeah. excited about it. we got a lot a lot going on in the studio yeah. today. It's so. Jimmy Jam Eve. It is Jimmy Jam Eve. So we're going to put that out there. So yeah. We love those booze Can't out wait. there. Can Rain wait. or yeah. shine, it right. is happening. Yeah, I'm wearing flannel to get ready. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a good move. Mm-hmm. Great move. Um, another great move would be for Troy to give us a question of the day. All right, uh, question of the day, and I don't know if I've ever asked this question before, but what is your lucky number or your favorite number? 904. Yeah, 904. Oh, did nice. not see that coming. You didn't see that coming? <laughs> yeah, of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was an easy one. That's the easiest question of the day we've ever had. Yeah. Lucky number 13. 13. Oh, my Swifties out there. That's they a feel lucky me. number. That guy, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I am that guy. It's a great number. So, okay. mysterious number. Okay. A lot of uh, controversy shrouded. Yeah, you Clay, don't know what you're going to get. With Clay, do you have a lucky number? I don't I don't think any no- numbers really brought me any luck, but... You said 69 before we got on the show. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, if I had to choose one that keeps popping up, it's 88. Oh, 88. actually, Eight that's a really good number. Yeah, because of the infinity sign, everything goes continuous. Oh, when I used to sell watches back in the city, they would be like, "You make sure your number. If you're going to discount this watch, it ends in an eight. If you have, you know, a Chinese customer, I'm serious mm. because that's a lucky number to them, and the, you close the deal every time. That's oh, a wow. great number, Clay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, um, mine is actually four, but go back to your thirteen. Um, uh, none of our hotels have a room with a 13 on it. Yeah, 13. Right. That's a thing, yep. yeah. Okay. So. What about you, Troy? Uh, mine's number four. Number no, four. Number four. Oh. Is that your baseball it number? Was, that was my baseball number. I actually, when I got to Flagler, the coach was wearing number four, so I had to wear 14, but I wore four pretty <laughs> much my whole career. Cool. All right. So. All right. Cool. I'm curious to see what everybody says in the comments. Pretty much everybody's got a number, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody's yeah. kind of got a number. Everybody's kind of jumping in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can't wait to look at that later. For right now, we will go back to you, Troy, for a quick check of the weather. Uh, not horrible. Okay. I'm getting used to it. My my uh, thermometer in the car said 57 this morning, but I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Oh. So, okay. Well, shorts and a short sleeve shirt. Yeah. All right, Weather Report brought to you by Great Expectations Realty and Auction, who can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check them out at geauction.com, gerealty.us. We now go to the booth where Clay Blasser has got our morning traffic report. 
Yes, I have that coming your way in just 10 seconds. Oh, that's a long time. Okay. <laughs> know, all right. Not really 10 good. seconds. Like, that's right. Sorry, my, my traffic or, or my uh, there, weather report we was way too short. Up? Yes. Um, anyway. <laughs> We're leaving but Clay to anyway, fill all the there dead There was air. just some construction here. <laughs> well, I, and, and okay. I, can, I can tell you, Jimmy Jam, uh, it looks like we're going to have some uh, weather early in the morning, but it should clear up, uh, and we should have a great Jimmy Jam tomorrow. Awesome. So, That's so, great I mean, news. But, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, you know, it's rain or shine. They got the great cover out there. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's going on no matter what. So They got uh, one lane on US-1 by 16 uh, construction. I don't know if that'll yes. be going on this weekend, but. Be careful. Yeah, I saw that. That tripped me up a little bit this morning. I took a picture of it, and that's why I'm waiting, but it didn't send. So, mm. oh, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> all right then. There's a late. There's late night construction on US one. Shocker. A right. shocker. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No one. No one saw that coming. Mm -mm. All right, and that of course brought to you by Amar Med Spa. If you are feeling tired and your skin is craving a revival. Look no further than Amara Med Spa. Their unmatched expertise and luxurious ambiance. Which one's the right way to say? Ambiance. You said okay. it right. Ambiance. I'm going to make a note of that. A H H H H H. Ambiance. Ambiance. Right. Ambiance. Not ambience. No. Not come in this on, case. Kira. <laughs> it's Kyra. <laughs> <laughs> They set them apart in the league of their own. They provide personalized treatments and rejuvenating facials designed to bring back your youthful radiance. No one in town comes close. You have high standards, and so do they. Start your journey today to a more beautiful and vibrant you at the Amara Med Spa. Dot com, where they are redefining beauty and luxury. New specials ooh, on ooh, hair ooh. rejuvenation. <clears throat> oh, hair rejuvenation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Oh, they can bring it back, they too. They can bring it back or take it away, whatever you want. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not a lot of options. There you go. All right, let's see. Let's get into the show. We have, uh, like, I, like, like we mentioned, Jimmy Jam, Rain or Shine. That's yes. my first note here nice. today. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like, for the most part, we should have a pretty good day. Mm -hmm. A little bit of rain in the morning. Yep. The rest we should be good on. That's awesome. All right, cool. Is there, like, a specific time to tell people to get there? Does anyone know? I mean, I can definitely research it, but if you know on the top of your head, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. I'll put it in comments. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's the best time to get there. Yeah, because I didn't know. I like, think it's around 10. Yeah, I think right. the people's mm -hmm. choice, I think, is in the afternoon. That's my right. question. Right, But I'll, I'll do it right now. Yeah. I want to say it's around 10. Cool. All right, let's see. Uh, we got some movies to talk about here. Oh. We got some movies. Okay. Some events revolving around movies. Yeah. Here in St. Augustine. There's a movie coming out uh, in uh, that focuses on, there we go, Pete, the 2011 St. Augustine gas station explosion. The really? PP. Yeah, yeah. I guess there's some, something intriguing about that. I don't know. A gas station blew up. I don't know why this got one, turned into a movie, honestly. 16, I'm assuming. Yeah, it, it, yeah. yeah it's uh, J.B. Coombs' place. Yeah. Let's Her see. There's, place. there's a new documentary coming out about this mm -hmm. called Behind the Smoke. And that dives into the long-term impacts of a 2011 gas station. So is this going to be a climate change documentary? Are, they gonna, are we going to just say, oh, it's destroying the planet? Okay. Uh, the center premiere at the St. Augustine Film Festival next week. The film is focused on the harrowing BP gas station fire that occurred on State Road 16, Masters Drive, which mm -hmm. was a significant event that happened over a decade ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, sure, it was. It was a significant it was event. Big. It was a big fire. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, let's see. It's directed by Jacob Whitley and offers an intimate look. That's interesting wording. At the physical and emotional toll faced by firefighters. Highly, okay, all right, yeah. Because yeah. there were a lot of firefighters that worked this, and I think just actually in the in the past year, we had a firefighter pass away from complications mm -hmm. to working this fire. Okay, so I see the angle on this now. Yeah, think like backdraft, but this is like a more of a documentary about the guys behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Documentary specifically tells the story of Michael Riley, dedicated St. Augustine firefighter with over 30 years of ser uh, service who was present at the catastrophic gas station fire. The fire, as the film reveals, was a turning point for Riley. They say he miraculously survived the incident uh, but suffered grave consequences in the aftermath. Riley was later diagnosed with onset Alzheimer's, among other illnesses that they say were due to being involved with fighting this fire. 
Uh, he, he uh, the health challenges they say eventually led to his uh, led to his death. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. The premature. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, premature leaving from the fire station and his death as well. Wow. Uh, the film is a result of a collaboration uh, initiated by Riley's wife, who uh, approached Whitley with the idea. Uh, having cared for her husband during his decline, she aims to shed light on the often overlooked dangers of toxic smoke exposure faced by firefighters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I- I'm sure they've all been uh, involved in incidents if they've been with the force long enough where right. they've inhaled toxic things that, burning are, that asbestos, are burning. Burning asbestos, all that. Yeah. 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 Despite her deep loss, she declined an interview for the story, saying her ongoing grieving process. Yeah, this wow. is still very fresh for the family. Mm-hmm. However, she expressed her gratitude for the efforts of those who shared their stories in the documentary, uh, emphasizing the importance of recognizing the sacrifices made by firefighters. Let's see. Behind the smoke, firefighters from the First Coast uh, share their experiences, linking back to the devastating gas station fire. Film serves as a tribute to those who risked their lives in the line of duty. Yeah, we, I mean, you know. I mean, I, re- I remember the fire in the day it happened and stuff like that. You know? Yeah. I mean, and uh, I, I know it went through a lot of, a lot of different legal stuff and things like that. So it, it'd be inter- interesting. It'd be, uh, I, I, I watch it. Yeah. So. And it'll be at the film. It will be at the film festival. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. So. Which by the way, is our next story. Uh, the 14th annual St. Augustine film festival, uh, going to be held Thursday, January 11th through Sunday, January 14th. This is always a good one. Troy, do you have any movies in the film festival I, I this year? I do not have, uh, anything showing this year. Okay. All right. There's a lot though, you guys. Like next week um, on the afternoon show, we're going to talk to Denny Tedesco, who is the son of Tommy Tedesco. And they've got this incredible, uh, it's called the Immediate Family Film. And it's a documentary featuring musicians like James Taylor, Stevie Nicks, Jackson Brown, Carol King, Phil Collins, and like how they all came together back in like the 70s. It's going to be really interesting. It's going to be, it's from Magnolia Pictures. I'm really excited to see wow. this. It's yeah. going to be good. Yeah, I'm excited to have that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Mary Stewart Masterson's coming to town. We've got some great celebrities. They really stepped it up this year. Yeah, this this festival has really been blowing up. Man. Yeah, people yeah, that, that, people that, love that'll this. be interesting because I like um, George McGovern ran for president in seventy two, and everyone you listed right there, yeah, did a music fundraiser for him. So I'm wondering if oh, wow. that had something to do with uh, them coming together too. I'm writing that down for a question for I know Denny. Carol King and uh, and. Uh, James Taylor and, and Jackson Brown and all those guys, the, guy, the people you just listed, uh-huh. were were involved in that. And I'm wondering if that had, you cool. know, if it happened prior to that or if that was part of the the start of it. I'm going to find out. That's yeah. great. Thank you. <laughs> Need a question. So. <laughs> they say independent and foreign films going to be available for viewing at three locations throughout historic downtown St. Augustine. Mm-hmm. One being Lewis Auditorium, the Gamash Coger Theater mm. at Flagler College. I don't know why I love saying the name of that theater so much. <laughs> the Gamash. You like Grenache, theater, maybe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, smell, it sounds like a great appetizer. It does, doesn't it? Gamash Coger. Gamash Coger, yeah. Gamash Koger, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any Gamash Coger? How's your Gamash Coger? <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> see, it's too long for an appetizer, though. Like gamash, I could see being an appetizer, and then add the Coger. Can uh-huh. I get a Gamash with a side of Coger? Yeah. Oh, that sounds yeah. better. better. That does right? have a ring to it, yeah. <laughs> with some Coger sauce? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's how we say it down here. Let me guess. Some gamache with some Coger sauce. Uh, and the Alcazar Room at City Hall. Going to be another showing showing area. St. Augustine Film Festival now in its 14th year. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Time has flown by on this thing. Yeah. Will again be organized by Gregory Von House. She's the CEO of the acclaimed Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. Yeah. Films include dramas, comedies, and documentaries going to feature U.S. independent films as well as foreign films. The following actors and subjects will attend the presentation of their film. Let's see. From The Senior, Rod Lurie. Yeah, that's Mark a good one. Chiardi. I hope I said that right. Probably didn't. And Mike and Eileen Flint. From Golden Vanity, we got Melora Hardin. From The Office? Right, She's right, in The right, Office. Right. That's the one from The Office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jan Levinson. Yeah. From 7,000 Miles, Amy Glazer and Wendy Malik. Yep, that's the lady from the, what was that show you used to watch when you didn't go to school? Oh, yeah, that's right. One of those uh, uh, daytime those, shows. Yeah. yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got Days of our lives? No. 
Towards <laughs> Well, okay, I thought it was a Steve shoot Harvey me. show. Just shoot, just me. shoot me. There right. you go. Right. Just shoot me. Watch a lot of Steve Harvey show, too. I wish Steve Harvey was coming. God, to I love Steve Harvey. Well, right. I could sit there and watch Family Feud clips for hours. Hours. Hours and hours and hours. hours. There's no time when those aren't funny. His timing is everything. Uh, Perfect. I'll, I'll tell you the best clip of Steve Harvey, and it's when it was on his birthday, and they surprised him with the family that helped him out when he was like 26 years old. Really? And he just starts bawling on air oh, wow. and it is i mean I, I just got chills again just thinking about it like it's somebody who just kind of took a chance on him hmm. and he was leaving living on their couch they gave him a credit card to travel with wow and just basically launched his entire career but oh, he, he lost contact with them and the producers have found this couple and it was like woo. it was i mean wow. you got you got to find that wow. clip it's, yeah. it's one of those if you if you don't tear up a little bit or feel some emotion a little bit you have no soul well that's well that's going to be hard here well, i can already tell you i don't have a soul right yeah. so, so. <laughs> but if you like i can tell you this if you like steve harvey <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel some you're emotion. You're gonna have to feel yeah. you're yeah. feel some emotion. <laughs> so, wow, it's that's really pretty cool. cool. There's I've never people, seen that. There's certain people in your life where you go, man, that that person right there changed my life. Yeah, you know, and everybody yeah. has one of those. So. Yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're ours. <laughs> That's right. Thank goodness. But listen, they early. got another movie coming out. It's uh, it's the Sydney Portier uh, story, and his the daughter stars, is coming yeah. to town. Dude, right. that's amazing. Yeah. Right. And so. Oprah was the producer on that one. Hey, Oprah. Hey, boo. What's up, girl? I was on Oprah for like literally seven seconds of my life. Really? But yeah, I was putting a necklace on a lady in the behind the scenes. Oh, right. look at that. You got to find that clip on YouTube. I have it. I think Blake has it, actually. And then, you, found che it. then you checked under your chair and there was nothing there. Was there. Nothing. I got you know, no pay out on that. Come on, Oprah. <laughs> you know, people are saying Oprah destroyed Hawaii. Possibly. <laughs> but she also, was well, she fundraised for it. Sure. Well, you definitely want to fundraise for a place that you're going to destroy so you can get cheap home prices. Oh, is that? See, there's always a motive. I'm learning. I just don't, I don't think this way. <laughs> That's I Oprah always doesn't. see the goodness Oprah, in people. As, as powerful as she is, does not have the ability to destroy Hawaii with lasers. <laughs> oh. So I don't, I don't totally buy into that one. Lasers. So, yeah. First Beyonce, now Oprah. God, Warwick thanks, Dunn. man. <laughs> <laughs> there goes your book deal. Did you say Warwick Dunn? <laughs> we're, we're done. Oh, oh yeah, I you said cooks. Warwick Dunn. I'm like, how does Warwick Dunn fit into this picture? <laughs> <We're cooks. laughs> a great individual, by the way. <laughs> have you ever met Warwick Dunn? Uh, yeah, he he actually does a lot for um, uh, single moms and buying houses hmm. and i mean he's if you google him like what he's done his humanitarian work is just absolutely amazing oh that's cool mm. so, it seems like a good guy great football player great football player so fun to watch is this is why you Stanley painted the, the wall blue pete because blue makes you immune to the lasers oh, oh good also good. painted the roof blue clay wow nice. yep i was out there on the roof over christmas break painted blue mike davis has no idea so we're, we're safe <laughs> we're, we're safe and he doesn't watch the morning show so we're fine <laughs> oh, right. we're totally fine yeah painted my house roof blue too my neighbors hate me even more now wow isn't it already blue? <laughs> looks like the ocean <laughs> no it wasn't blue. the house itself used to be blue yeah, yeah. i'm an avatar fan <laughs> Until you put that trailer-looking siding on it, and yeah. I look like I live in a double-wide, <laughs> which is fine. It's luxury. <laughs> no mold. You don't have to power spray. <laughs> you never have to wash or paint it again. Just yeah. spray a little Windex. It'll spread. I'm going to get new siding on that house at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I say that crap ah, The old siding looked great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The old siding did not. <laughs> yeah. No. Is it just a veneer? Yeah, it was a... Uh, no, it did not. <laughs> There's a reason why that siding was there. Oh, okay. So when I take it off, I'm going to figure out that reason? It's ugly. It's okay. really ugly. All right. Uh, well, as long as it's not rotting. Oh, no. It was fine. Okay. All right, back to the film festival. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> Several ways to enjoy the film festival. All access passes, which includes entry to all films, all parties, lots of good parties, mm -hmm. and the short film festival in March. That's 275 bucks. All film pass allows entry into all of the films at all the venues during the January film festival. That's just 110 bucks. That's easy. Right. That's not mm -hmm. bad. And the All Lewis Pass, where uh -huh. you get to hang out with everybody in the movies that are named Lewis. <laughs> And so Mary Stewart yep. Master, no. <laughs> nope. Nope. Only Lewis Graham. Oh. Who you've never heard of. No. No. 
Uh, the All Lewis Pass allows entry into all films played at Lewis Auditorium during the January Festival, which is kind of where they show the main, the the kind of main event films, right? Yes. yes. And that's just 75 bucks. That's about the price of one movie ticket these days. Exactly. 75 bucks yeah. at the movie theater. Once you get all your snacks. You can also do an individual f- uh, ticket to the films. Just buy for the ones you want to go to, obviously. Mm-hmm. All of those passes can be purchased at stogfilmfest.com. Troy, they have a movie called The Senior, and it's about a dude in his 50s coming back to play football at his high school because he missed his senior story. year. Yeah. Oh, yeah? True remember story. That? You don't remember the story of that guy? I don't remember. He's coming to do a talk back after the movie, too. It's going to be cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That was about 10 years ago or so, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you this. I'm not going back to play football. No. I'm 56. No. No, no Come way, on. Troy. No. Extra padding. Nope. You uh. just you said on the show it's easier for you to get in shape. No, genetic. Well, gene- <laughs> genetics help. I said genetics help. I didn't say it, it, it makes me stupid. <laughs> I'm not getting hit by an 18-year-old. <laughs> well. Yeah. All right, yeah, that would, yeah, it's it's like that scene in The Water Boy where they're like, and Michigan tried to use their towel boy. Oh, <laughs> he, work. I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, one hit out there by those kids, and, and we're out of commission. Water Boy filmed in Deland. Some of it was filmed in the land. Some of it filmed in Jacksonville. Beck Martin Stadium. Yeah. Oh. Some of it filmed in Gainesville, too. I think it was in Gainesville, yeah. the swamp, yeah. where they had the championship game. Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but the main, the main stadium is uh, Spike Martin Stadium. It's where Stetson University plays their football games now. Okay. It's where DeLand High School played all their games. Hmm. Uh, so. Their field looked like a DeLand High School field. Uh, sure. it, won, it won high school stadium of the year in 1986. I can tell you that. Okay. Because I was working on the damn film. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how I started Parks and Rec. So. Nice. All right, cool. So uh, that's going to be a great time. That's going to be a great time. If you can get out down there again between January 11th and January 14th, film's going to be shown at various times through the weekend. And again, main theater is Lewis Auditorium. Yeah, there's some great movies out there. So, so exciting. Yep. All right. Um, before we get to Florida Man Friday, I'm going to tell you we're going to make a special announcement during Florida Man Friday. Oh. We've got a big announcement. Cool. Big, big, big announcement. Huge. <clears throat> we have... Picked our host, and that's going to be great. Nice. Mm-hmm. So we're going to tell you who that is. Fantastic. People very excited. People blowing this individual up. Really? Yeah. As soon as the Florida Man games got announced, people were just, people were all over it. They were tagging this guy in it, uh, he, and he ended up hitting me up like, hey, dude, I'm getting tagged in this all over yeah. the place. Really? Yeah. How do we come together on this? Yeah. I, I, I was tagging him pretty regularly. <laughs> Which is great <laughs> because I, I was trying to reach out to him from the beginning. He was on my very first list of people I wanted out at this event. I, I, I love this guy. He's perfect. He's perfect for this event. Yeah. Mm. Me too. I, I think so too. <laughs> so we'll tell you who that is. We will uh, reveal to you who that is. In the Florida Man Friday segment of our show. But first, uh, we got to do something that's a little less exciting. And that is going to be the Gas Buddy Gas Report. Oh, great. Yeah. Really don't like talking about gas, but I guess it's helpful. I mean, it is helpful, so we know where to go, but like it's getting depressing. It's informative. Yeah. It is informative. Yeah. And it's gone down a little bit. Well, no, actually, it's exactly the same as it was yesterday. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, at least that's steady. Yeah. The gate at the top of the list, which is still surprising because they're usually at the bottom. They are usually the most expensive. Maybe they heard ah. us talking on the show, and uh, they were like, um, hey, these guys hate us. we got to step up our game here. <laughs> so yeah. we need to not be the most expensive one yeah, in town. The elite gas all station. All the time. Mm. So let's see. Gate at 295 on Mizell Road. we got the Sunoco at 450 South Ponce at 298. We got the Sunoco at twenty one ninety nine North Ponds at two ninety nine, uh, State Road two hundred seven Circle K is at two ninety nine Owens seven eighty South Ponds there at two ninety nine as well. We've got the Shell at one forty six King Street, um, that is at three hundred four. The Shell at 216 Ponce de Leon Boulevard is at 304 as well. Hmm. Your Mobile and Circle K at 800 South Ponce, also at 304. And then your Shell at the bottom of the list, excuse me, this morning at 309. They're at 2350 North Ponce de Leon Boulevard. Uh, uh, that Gas Buddy Gas Report, of course, brought to you by, i got to get my show notes back up here, Chris Lucero Bail Bonds. Hey. If you get in some good old-fashioned Florida man trouble and you need to get out of jail, Chris Lucero will get you out of jail. 
Easy as that. Not much else to say. He is the first call you should make if you end up in the Hardwick Hotel. The Slammer. That's stupid. The Slammer. The Slammer. Remember when people used to say that? I do remember that. If you end up in the Slammer... (laughs) They don't just give Chris Lucero a call. They don't say that they anymore. Don't say that I don't think so. Okay. They do not. Okay. No. No. Nine zero four eight two two bail. That's nine zero four eight two 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 four five. Get your life together, Brenda. <laughs> yeah, Brenda. <laughs> Why do you always end up in jail, Brenda? Come on, Brenda. Damn it. Clean it up. Why is it always got to be Brenda? Every time. And uh, live music mic check today. Also, can't forget about that. Um, but we will start with Michael Bo Griner. Oh, Speaking of jail, our favorite serial killer, Michael Bo Griner. Wow, got out. At the Milltop Tavern at noon, we got Caleb Joy at the cellar upstairs at one o'clock. Heather Craig at Trade Winds, one. We've got the Driftwoods at the Fish House and Oyster Company at five. Hmm. Heather Craig at Krabby's at 5. Trevor hmm. Compton at OC White's at 5.30. Contact Buzz at Hurricane Grill and Wings at 6. Eddie Pickett, Mellow Mushroom at 6. We've got Wes Register at Prohibition Kitchen at 6 o'clock. Yale, Dre, and Zaza Flamenca cool. at the cellar upstairs at 6. Uh, Dyer Davis oh. at Colonial Oak Music Park at 7 o'clock. Oh. Dave's Not Here. And Joe's Other Deadish Bands. That's the whole name of the bands. Hmm. Wow. Dave's not here and Joe's other deadish bands. Y'all, just get a nice name. I, I want to. I want to <sighs> type in the website name for that one. No, don't. You'll get it on your algorithm. Where are they at? Dead-ish. They're at A One A Aleworks. A One A Aleworks, seven p.m. Davis Loose. Hey, uh, at Davis. Cafe Eleven at eight. Cool. Edwin McCain at Ponte Vedra Concert Hall at eight. Eighty Six Hope at Sarbez at eight. Zalongo Sarbez at eight. Andy Dalton and Terry Campbell. Milltop Tavern at 9, and Ramona at Prohibition Kitchen at 10 o'clock. Right. Uh, is, Davis is at Jimmy Jam tomorrow, right? I think so. I, I, I believe he is. He is. 100%. He 100% he is. I don't know what time Anybody know what time Davis is? No, nope. looks like everybody just has to come out as early as you can and be yeah. out there for Davis. 10 a.m., show up and show out. There you go. I'll call Davis. Kind of angry. That's kind of angry, Davey. Well, I'm just saying. I'll call Davis. Let's do it. I have it in my email. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll have a four-year-old in tow. We're, we're not an all-day group. Uh, just put some Velcro and put her on the wall. She'll be fine. <laughs> That's what we usually do. Davis at one. one. Davis at one. Right. Thank okay. you. Okay. Good time. Good yeah. time. Perfect. Perfect. Music starts at 11. Okay. So you should probably be there around 10. 10. 10. Yeah. yeah. Get all some right. food. Show up. Show up. Yeah. I can't wait for the food. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for chowder. the food. It's always so good. Yeah. The chowder edition this chowder. year, too. Yeah, man. All right, Griffin Services brings us that live music mic check. Your home's comfort is their top priority at Griffin. They specialize in AC, plumbing, and electrical services, plus unique offerings like standby generators, water softeners, and gas work. They're the home of the free service call and upfront quotes. You can experience fast, friendly, and affordable... uh, Affordable? Wait, what was that? Where am I at? Fast, friendly, and affordable services. I just heard something in my ear. Yeah. Seven days a week. Give them a call at 904-500-2653 or visit griffinservice.com. And before we get into our Florida Man Friday, which our Florida Man Friday story involves an exploding toilet. Yeah. Really? And, and you know what? I am actually going to step away because I have to go... No, oh, you do have to. I, you have, I have to, to go be a Florida man. Okay. Okay. All so right. uh, I don't know if Davey wants to slide over here, but I'm gonna I have will to have step your. Uh, I will have your story done ready. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Have a great Troy, weekend. Have a good day, man. Oh, I thought we had him for ten more minutes. May this force be with you. All right. Yes, Troy. All the forces. May they be with you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Before we get into Florida Man Friday, involving an exploding toilet. I'll remind you that Fidus Roofing is the local go-to roofer here in St. John's County. They're a local company for over 15 years. And by the way, all their employees live right here in St. John's County. You can give them a call for a free roof inspection because you never get up on your roof. You don't know what's going on up there. If there's something you need to worry about, uh, Fidus will make sure and let you know. Local company for 15 years. All their employees live right here in St. John's County. Um, give them a call, 904-355-ROOF. That's 904-355-ROOF. They do pavers and gutters. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. 
As Davey relocates over here. Okay, hey, good to see you, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I smell better. <laughs> Uh, I, let's get started with Florida Man Friday here. Of course, brought to you by Chris Lucero, Bail Bonds, 904-822-BAIL. Exploding toilet ha! at uh, Duncan's store in Florida left a customer injured and uh, filthy. Oh, my. Yeah. This sounds a little gross. Oh. What happened well, Let's here? just hope this wasn't self-inflicted. If you did something on the toilet to make it explode... Well, that'll make the lawsuit juicy. <sighs> Oh, did you have to use that word? Oh, I paper man. That you have a to good use word. that, that word, word for this story. Oh, it's not a good word. Oh, whoopsie doodle. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Duncan facing a lawsuit now for negligence after a customer, Paul Karuak. There's lots of vowels in this name. <laughs> K e r o u a c. He claimed he was seriously injured due to uh, an exploding toilet at one of the chain's locations in Winter Park, Florida. Mm. The incident occurred in January of 2022, and we're just now hearing about it. Wow, two years later. Yeah. It led the man to seek damages exceeding $100,000. I think he needs a better lawyer. Oh. $100,000 is not a lot for an exploding toilet. A lot of shrapnel. A lot of shrapnel, a lot of other SH. Mm hmm. Uh, filed this Wednesday in a state court in Orlando, the lawsuit. Details a traumatic experience where the man was reportedly covered in human waste and, and other debris. <laughs> I think that's the only one I anybody's like worried about, the right? The debris and other <laughs> right, debris. And other debris. <laughs> that's hysterical. <laughs> He's not concerned with any of the other debris. <laughs> Following the toilet uh, explosion in the men's restroom. I want to know how this happened. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a video of Maybe this? I don't want to know how this happened. <laughs> Just, I hope there's not video. No, you can't put videos in a restroom unless somebody was being creepy. That's true. This incident, according to the lawsuit, caused him severe and long-term injuries. Mm. Further amplifying the gravity of the situation, the lawsuit reveals that an employee admitted that the staff was previously aware of issues with the toilet. So there wasn't like a cherry bomb put in there yeah, or anything? That's what that I was wasn't thinking. me too. I was so thinking was somebody like a, put something in there. Right. Indicating that this was not an isolated incident. Their toilet has exploded before and they didn't fix the problem? What is going on? God, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Specifics about the nature of the explosion or prior incidents were not elaborated on in the lawsuit. That's really a shame. Mm. That's too bad because I would have loved to know exactly what happened. Yeah. How does the toilet just explode? I mean, it must just be a bad plumbing issue, obviously. I've never heard of this before in my life. Me I would neither. call Griffin Service to find out like how I this know, could right? happen. I know, right? I'm going to have to call Griffin for a toilet inspection. Let's get Tom back on the show and ask him. The man's attorney, Scott... Spraidly. Oh. <laughs> and you yell at me because I said what I said. <laughs> Golly. You can't make this stuff up sometimes, man. <laughs> Scott Spraidly. Uh, when approached for more details regarding uh, the injuries of the man, uh, his client, responded that he was currently unable to provide further information, but would be available the following day. As of now, Duncan, headquartered in Canton, Massachusetts, has not responded to requests for comments on the matter. Oh, my Lanta. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame we don't have more information on this, man. <laughs> Blake, I, I need to know how this happened. Blake, we might need some investigative. <laughs> yeah, Blake, can you put on the investigative journalism hat <laughs> once again today and see if we can figure out exactly why this toilet exploded and if it was something to do with being self-inflicted. Or dual ply versus single ply. Maybe it's the toilet paper. Something must have happened. The friction. Clogged the typing. I don't know. Clogged up the pipes. Something. With the toilet paper. Okay. Something engineering. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know anything about that stuff. Now you had to go to school for that one. But hey, neither does the city of St. Augustine, oh, so that's cool. True, true. <laughs> Can't fix flooding in 30,000 years. Fake it till you make it, Pete. There you go. All right. <laughs> it's the flappers. <laughs> it's the flappers. Everybody just blames it on the flappers. <laughs> flappers were supposed to help the problem. The crazy thing is that when the water is above the flappers, the flappers don't work. <laughs> The water's always above the flappers. We need double flappers. <laughs> Just spend millions of dollars to put in useless flappers. <laughs> <laughs> right. That thing's got worse. But things got worse. Literally, things got worse. All the solutions for the city have made the problems worse. The water went, oh, well, you're going to shut me off there? I'll just go over here. <laughs> right. I can find my way. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Hey, we got a big announcement to make, man. I'm very, very excited. So pumped. Here we go. Very, very excited. You know, we've been saying we've got some big celebrity announcements. Yes. In the works. Yes. And uh, all of those pretty much have been tightened up and we're ready to make announcements. Okay. So I'm excited. Over the next f- few weeks, we've got a lot of cool people to tell you about that are going to be hanging out with us out at the Florida Man Games. Mm-hmm. One of those being an absolute Florida icon, an absolute staple of our state. Uh, hilarious individual that I have to assume at least 95% of our audience follows on either Instagram or TikTok. Yes. Does great videos, hilarious videos. Uh, all from the flip phone. All from the all flip from phone. The flip phone. There's That's our right. Tease. Getting all the great stuff on the flip phone. Um, our host of the Florida Man Games will be OMG, it's Wix himself. Oh, that is so yeah, freaking man. cool, man. I am so excited. Dude, that guy is funny. He's hilarious uh, and a really cool dude, too. And I mean, boy, he's cranking out content. All the time. He's He's got his own podcast now, too. I've seen it. He's doing his own podcast, which is great. Yeah. That's the world to get into if you are uh, kind of a social media star. He's like awesome. he is, man. Yeah. So I know he is pumped. Like I said, he uh, he basically he hit me up a, a month or so ago, um, and he was one of the first people I reached out to, by the okay. way. But he is his inbox is so flooded all the time. Right, yeah. And it's like, you, my, my stupid little messages aren't going to stand out to, to somebody like that. So uh, he hit me up about a month ago, and he's like, man, people have been tagging me in Florida Man Game stuff for since you guys announced. Um, so how do, we, how do we work together on this? And I'm like, oh, so my cool. gosh, this is just this is amazing because you were on my short list of people yeah. um, to have at the Florida Man Game. So I'm so excited he's going to be he part of it. he's so funny. Hilarious. And, and he's he kind of showcases what it's like to live in Florida from the perspective of a real Floridian. Right. And I love when he does like the Floridians versus the the, the snowbirds or the oh. Floridians versus the new Floridians. <laughs> man, can we you know? all relate, right? <laughs> yes, we can all relate. <laughs> yes, we can all relate, man. That's why that's why everybody loves him. Yeah. Because we just, we get it. And it's, it's hilarious. He's an extremely funny guy. So having him as the host and kind of the MC out there mm-hmm. uh, is going to be amazing. So what's he going to do? He's going to be like announcing each game. Like how's that going? What's that going? Oh look yeah, like? he's going to be all over, man. He's okay. going to be telling you what's going on. He's going to be telling people uh, where they should be going next. He's going to be commentating on the games. I mean, it's just you're going to get some real hilarious. Oh, that's so cool! And commentary throughout the day, and uh, very excited to have him in uh, as part of this as well. We've got a couple of other Florida icons that we're going to announce in the next week Okay. also. Very cool. Uh, this oof. one's so iconic. Oh, I this can't imagine huge. topping this. this. Is yeah, huge. this is awesome. This is, uh, this is probably my favorite announcement that we've I got. I'm so pumped. I know, man. I know. It's just, there's no better fit. Yeah. There's no better fit for the so Florida talk, He's like super humble, nice dude. Like he yeah, yeah, okay. Really cool, cool dude. Very and cool. I'm excited that he's expanding his stuff. His podcast looks great, by the way. Yeah. It, it looks great. I see the reels all over Instagram. Absolutely, yep. All over my feed. Um, looks great. Uh, you know, makes me want to step up our set again. Okay. Look so at I'm, you, well, I'm, I'm always doing this. <laughs> I'm always, somebody always, I watch somebody's stuff and I'm like, wow, their set looks way better than mine. Now I have to step up my game. This is awesome, though. Yeah, man. I'm excited. A lot of people, I mean, and not only people were reaching out to him, a lot of people were reaching out to me as well over the last month. Like, you got to get Wix. You got to get him. He's he's the perfect match for this thing, and I totally it's agree. Perfect match. Totally agree. So yeah, cool. Man. So very excited to make that announcement. Uh, I am going to hit the, well, I, I'm going to get that on the website okay. in a little while. We'll put out the word on Instagram and Facebook so you can share and let people know. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited. So, of course, go to the FloridaManGames.com, get your tickets, and get your chance uh, to meet a Florida a staple of our, our state. Absolutely. Yeah. And get those tickets now before February, because you know what, boo? They're prices, going up. Prices yeah. go up in February. Man. Let's go. Just so, get them now. You know yeah. you're going to go. It's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah. If there's anything left in February, we already sold out of our VIP tickets in the first round. Okay. Uh, we've got a couple more left. So we're still, okay. Yeah. If people want to get VIP tickets, literally do that today. Okay. That would be a good idea. Um, we sold out of our first, actually, I guess it was our second round of general admission tickets. So we had to bring up more general admission tickets. Um, it's going to be awesome, guys. Wow. That's it's awesome. It's going to be awesome. Good. So very, very excited. TheFloridaManGames.com. And follow us on Instagram, by the way, at TheFloridaManGames to get uh, more 
more information. Or both of Van Strange just posted some reels out there on Instagram. I He's saw really him feeling in the, gym. the reels. He, yes, you did. That was amazing. I don't think he did one machine right. Well, I think I mean, he did them all wrong. He did them with passion. He did them with curiosity. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Everybody in the gym, I think, was curious as to what Van Strange was doing. A lot of thrusting. Doing. A lot of thrusting. Lot, there was yeah. some thrusting. Yeah, yeah. All oh, Van. Many blessings. Those pull-ups too. Did Woo. you see the pull-ups? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, those were intense, man. Very intense. Very intense with pull-ups. With the belt? Oh, uh, yeah, the with belt. the championship belt? Like it. Yeah, the mullet contest belt yeah. in that one. Ready. <laughs> Boy, Van Strange. He's going to do He's going to be... He, Van Strange does not have a sense of embarrassment. No. You can't embarrass Van Strange. No. He's, he's seen it all and been through it all. Because no one's on his level. Like, Nobody's get on, on his level. his level, really. Nobody is on Van Strange's level. Be yourself, level. Van. Yeah, yeah. So check out the Instagram, see some of those reels. More reels coming from Van Strange. Van is really becoming obsessed with the reels. Nice, now. good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see local events coming up. Okay. Local stuff. There's a study. We love studies. Oh, do studies we pay are... for it? Only when we don't have to pay for it. <laughs> uh, we always have to pay for the studies. Okay. They identify potentially invasive species in Florida. So maybe we didn't necessarily have to pay for this one since mm. it's not a St. Augustine thing. Comprehensive study led by the University of Florida scientists, nice. now spearheaded by Dr. Paul Leurens. Why are they throwing weird last names? I know. Get new last names, everybody. Right. Yeah. Get a normal last name, Change people. Change it up or come up with the handle. Dr. Paul. I, I think I said his first name wrong because I don't even remember. Dr. Dea. Oh, Dea. 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 Leurens. Leurens. Yeah. Well. He's an assistant professor of invasive species biology and management at Penn State University. Mm. He's triggered potentially, in a, he's targeted potentially invasive species in Florida. He is collaborating with various researchers, agencies, and nonprofit organizations. And uh, their team evaluated 460 species, oh. assigning scores based on their potential for establishment, spread, and negative impacts on Florida's ecosystem. Mm -hmm. The alewife fish, that can't be how you say it, alewife? Alewife. We'll go with that. It is the best plankton you've ever seen. The alewife fish <laughs> is just a <laughs> drunk woman. <laughs> A small herring, uh, the alewife, I'm going to call it that because I like that name better. Me too. The alewife, can significantly alter the lake's food web. Never heard that, food web. Food web. Impacting negative, impacting, uh, impacting native species, rather. Mm -hmm. The United States Geological Survey acknowledges its potential to disrupt ecosystems. Next, we've got zebra mussels. Whoa. Zebra mussels. Why does this sound like an uh, industrial strength tape? Oh, yeah. Or I was thinking stripes of some sort. Yeah. yeah. Fruit stripes. Zebra gum. mussels. Oh, yeah. The worst gum in history. It is the not good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. They're recognized by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission as a problematic invader. Oh. Zebra mussels. That's a very intense term. <laughs> I think I've been called that in a few relationships. <laughs> problematic, <laughs> problematic invader. invader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, is that on your dating profile? Definitely. Just problematic that, invader. Yeah, yeah problematic there you go. Invader. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of dates off yeah, that one. Yeah, definitely. Zebra mussels often hitchhike on boats, fishing gear, and aquarium plants. They've also been found in moss balls used in aquariums, leading to FWC warnings about the ecological dangers that they pose. Okay. The next one is the red swamp crayfish. Cray crayfish. Yeah. Readily available throughout uh, biological supply trades and often released after educational use. Can they write these things better so people can understand what they're even saying? Yeah. These crayfish have been flagged by the USGS. <laughs> Several crayfish species uh, made the top 40. Uh, then we've got the crab-eating macaque monkeys. <laughs> Okay. okay. I'm, done I'm leaving it go. Yeah, yeah. We're done. We're mm. done with that one. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Species. Dea. <laughs> yeah. If you want to read that story, go to Fox 13 News. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even... I'll send people away from us for that story. Read that, <laughs> read that dumb crap on Fox. <laughs> okay. Local event. Here we go. 
Puddles Pity Party at the Pontevedra Concert Hall. A lot of peas. A lot of peas, Ooh. man. Puddles Pity Party. <laughs> I saw a, jack- a picture of a jacked up truck. I don't know if you saw this on social media yesterday. Mm. Uh, that just, The license plate said Big PP on it. I did see that. Did you, that was hilarious. I did see that. Oh, that was hysterical. Was very Florida <laughs> thing. I bet that's one of the contestants for the Florida Man Games. Pontevedra Concert Hall welcomes the return of Puddles Pity Party, featuring the sad clown with a golden voice. Oh, man. It's just very sad. This Why sounds- don't you... Name your band something that's uh No, it's a makes clown. Makes people happy. This is a clown. Oh, this is that a perform is, please tell me these are not performing clowns. These are performing clowns. Wow. All right, guys. we're skipping that story. Yeah. Jamie, how do you want to check the comments? Okay, I'm going to fruitfully find his uh way through the forest of fanciful commentary. Thank okay. you, Bobby. All right, Bobby. Thank you very much. As you do that, I'll remind people that Bates, Hewitt, and Floyd Insurance, they set the standard that your home is more than just a house. It's where your memories are made and where sometimes your old landlord puts on terrible siding that makes your house look horrible. Oh, nice. I mean, not BHF doesn't do that. No, but they'll but definitely get you back on they track. They know that your home <laughs> is sometimes a place where somebody has put on bad siding. <laughs> they <laughs> provide peace of mind and insurance to protect your biggest investments. Having a reliable local insurance agency like Bates, Hewitt, and Floyd with over 40 years of experience in homeowners insurance, auto, commercial, and benefits can be a valuable asset in navigating the unpredictable insurance market. They have the expertise to help you find the right coverage for your needs. Christy Lawrenson, readily available at their St. August scene office, conveniently situated across from uh, Flagler UF Hospital. She offers complimentary policy reviews, which is super helpful if you are looking to ensure your insurance coverage is up to date and suitable to your needs. Oh. Give them a call at 794-5455. Visit them at South Park, 165 South Park, Suite C. Also, our friends at Willow and Main Beauty Bar. They are your hair's best friend, of course. Are you tired of looking tired? Head over to Willow and Maine. Feeling like your hair's in a rut? Willow and Maine is your hair hut. Not sure where to fix your frame? Take your mug to Willow and Maine. From classic highlights to hair extensions, whether your hair is oily, crunchy, curly, straight, limp, or a little bit of a wimp. Hey, there we go. All right. They'll whip it and clip it into shape. Don't let a hair emergency stress you out. Give them a call today and book your next appointment. Check out their latest specials on Instagram at Willow and Maine Beauty Bar. And hey, dudes, men's day. It's Wednesday. I always forget we get that sound effect until I put on headphones. I love it. All right, very good. I think you need to switch seats with Troy at the end of every show so that we can, <laughs> so that we don't have to do the Davy Cam for oh, your. Oh, we cannot uh, put Troy in the corner. Rendition of the Reeds. No, no, no. It's a legendary seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Um, let's see. What do you got, Davy? Well, there's a big call to action for Van Strange to be the ring, quote unquote, girl. Oh, he does. He's, he's got the hair for it. Definitely has long, the, flowy hair. The, the locks. Lovely locks. Um, thank you for the stars from Nicole and Anne. Thank you both very much. That means a lot. If anybody else wants to drop stars, you can do that. Yeah, please. It helps us. Uh, And then uh, there's a big uh, ask uh, if Chuck Woolery is going to Florida Man Games. Apparently, he's a local Floridian. No. No. Okay. (laughs) A lot of people are excited about Film Fest. (laughs) All right. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Chuck Woolery? Chuck Woolery. That's right. (laughs) I mean, he might be from Florida, but God, come on. What what does Chuck add to the Florida Man games? He's going to do a dating segment? Right. That actually might be funny. That might be funny. That actually could be funny if he was doing like, like uh, Yeah, like a matchmaker, Florida right. man, Florida right. man matchmaker. Wow. That could be cool. This actually <laughs> has turned into the dumbest idea I've ever heard. I has like turned it. from the dumbest idea I've ever heard to the best idea I've ever heard. Just <laughs> like every board meeting with us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, Chuck. Yeah. Reach out, man. (laughs) Still would be more excited about Wix, though. All right. Um, Let's see. Uh, What else you got, Davey? We got Stoidum Stat today. All right. What you got for Stoidum Stat? So in 1980, on this day, Rapper's Delight came out. And that's very controversial. Did this start rap music? Mm. Did it not? I mean, Clay definitely has a lot to say on this because he definitely brought our ears and our attention this morning with reggae was actually the Mm. pioneer of that. But the Sugar Mm. Hill Gang is an American hip-hop group formed in Englewood, New Jersey in 1979. Their hit, Rapper's Delight, was released today um, in 1980. Uh, The first rap single became top four. On the Billboard Top 100, reaching a peak position of number six, 36 on January 12th. Wow! So very, very cool. Yep, it's it's definitely legendary. So check them out. We love them, Sugar Hill Gang. A hip hop, a hippie did a hip hip hop, and you don't stop. Eat some pizza. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is brought to you by St. Augie's Pizza. <laughs> Grab yourself one of those slices today. You will not regret it. Say hi to Augie and the fam for us. And uh, the Cuban pizza <gasps> that we kind of had a hand in inventing. So good, though. Probably oh. the best pizza, specialty pizza you will ever try. Uh, every, Period. It's so good. Period. Yeah. All right, let's see. Um, what else we got? What else does Troy do at this point? We got plugs All coming right. up. So we have an awesome announcement on the afternoon show today <laughs> with uh, Michelle from Panache. Uh, she's coming on and talking to, with a partnership with the Mara Med Spa. Okay. And there's going to be some great, great things. So I'm going to need your guys' help to nominate some local heroes. You're going to hear more about it at 3 o'clock today, but there's going to win some big prizes. I'm excited. All right. Love it. Yeah. Um, Clay Plugs. Yeah, Jimmy Jam, come out, rain or shine. We'll be playing music in the rain or not. Yep. And I will say go to thefloridamangames.com, get your tickets today, and uh, we'll see you out there. It's going to be a great time. Hey, great show, everybody. Thank you very much for checking us out. We will talk to you at 3 o'clock. Bye-bye. <laughs>